It's time to duel. I'll start this duel off with graceful charity. This card lets me draw three cards and discard two. I'll draw three cards and discard Electromagnetic Turtle and Magician's Navigation from my hand. Next, I summon Magician's Rod in defense mode. A Magician's Rod? Where's the Magician you need? You'll see soon enough. When I summon my Magician's Rod, I get to add a Dark Magician-related spell or trap card from my deck to my hand. I add Magical Circle. Now I activate my Dark Magical Circle. But my Dark Magical Circle is a continuous spell card, and when I activate it, I search the top three cards of my deck for a Dark Magician card to add to my hand. I add the Ultimate Wizard himself, Dark Magician, to my hand. Okay, I see what you're up to. Your old tricks again, Yugi. I truly admire your skill in wielding the Dark Magician's strength. But in this new age of dueling, it doesn't stand a chance. My monsters are far superior to your magician. We'll see about that. I set one card face down and end my turn. I draw. First, I activate my field spell card, Mausoleum of White. This field spell card sets the stage for my triumph and your demise, you Now, I special summon Kaiser Vorse Raider to my field. Kaiser Vorse Raider? My Kaiser Vorse Raider has 1,900 attack points. And while I control no monsters, I can special summon it from my hand. Next, I summon Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Your Maiden with Eyes of Blue has zero attack and defense points. It poses no threat to me. Perhaps on the surface. But my Maiden with Eyes of Blue also has a special ability. Special ability? Once per turn, whenever she's targeted by a card effect, I can special summon a Blue Eyes White Dragon from my hand, deck, or graveyard. I activate the effect of my Mausoleum of White by sending a Blue Eyes White Dragon from my deck to my graveyard. I target my Maiden with Eyes of Blue and increase her attack and defense points by 800. Now that I've targeted my Maiden with Eyes of Blue, I activate her effect. Come forth, Blue Eyes White Dragon! By summoning your Blue Eyes White Dragon, you played right into my hand. I activate Magical Dimension! I tribute my Magician's Rod to allow my Dark Magician to descend from my hand and take its place. Come forth, Dark Magician! And that's not all. My Magical Dimension also allows my Dark Magician to strike down one of your monsters when it's summoned. Dark Magician, destroy Kaiba's Maiden with Eyes of Blue! Even with my Maiden with Eyes of Blue gone, I still have two powerful monsters on my field. You won't for long. My Dark Magic Circle enhances the power of my Dark Magician. While it's face up on the field, Dark Magic Circle allows my Dark Magician to banish one card from your field when it's summoned. I banish your Blue Eyes White Dragon from the duel. Oh no! Now, you only have your Kaiser Voice Ring, and that monster is far too weak to take down my Magician. I set one card face down and end my turn. It's my move. I draw. I summon Curry Bandit to my field. Now, I activate Curry Bandit's effect. By distributing Curry Bandit, I draw and reveal the top five cards of my deck. I reveal Spellbinding Circle, Thousand Knives, Seven Tools of the Bandit, Mystic Box, and Dark Illusion. Since all of the cards that I revealed are spell and trap cards, I keep all five of them in my hand. Now, I attack! Dark Magician! Use your Dark Magic Attack to destroy Kaiser Voice Raider! I activate my trap card, Shadow Spell! This card stops your attack and reduces your Dark Magician's attack points by 700. Not so fast, Kaiba. I banish Magician's Navigation from my graveyard. While I control Dark Magician, I can banish Magician's Navigation from my graveyard to negate the effect of one of your face-up spell or trap cards. I'll use my Magician's Navigation to negate your Shadow Spell until the end of the turn. Your Kaiser Voice Raider is destroyed.
and now you lose 600 life points. True, but that means my Kaiser Vorse Raider's effect activates. Since your Dark Magician destroyed my Kaiser Vorse Raider in battle, your Magician loses 500 attack points. I set two cards face down. It's your move. Now that your turn is over, my Shadow Spell once again shackles your Magician, dropping its attack points to just 1,300. I draw. First, I activate Pot of Greed. This card lets me draw two more cards. Next, I summon Alexandrite Dragon in attack mode. My Alexandrite Dragon has 2,000 attack points. Now, I activate Silent Doom. This card lets me special summon a Blue-Eyes White Dragon back from my graveyard. Take flight, Blue Eyes White Dragon! Oh, and that's not all. Now I activate the second effect of my Mausoleum of White. Second effect? Mm -hmm. My Mausoleum of White is more than just an attack boost. Once per turn, my field spell card lets me normal summon an additional monster, as long as that monster is a level one light tuner. Light tuner? But. That must mean that's right, you. I've mastered the Synchro Summon. Normal Summon my level one tuner, Sage with Eyes of Blue, and activate its effect to add the White Stone of Ancients to my hand. Next, I activate Cards of Consonants. This card lets me discard a Dragon-type tuner with 1,000 or less attack points to draw two cards. I discard the White Stone of Ancients to draw two cards from my deck. Finally, I tune my level one Sage with Eyes of Blue and level eight Blue Eyes White Dragon to Synchro Summon the level nine Synchro Monster, Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Incredible. I knew I would need to step up my game to defeat you, Yugi. But this new summoning technique will give me the edge I need. We'll see about that. Indeed we will. And just because I now have access to powerful new monsters, well, <laughs> that doesn't mean I can't summon powerful old monsters. I banished Kaiser Vorse Raider and Sage with Eyes of Blue from my graveyard to conjure up the forces of chaos that will lead to your demise. I su special summon Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End! By banishing one dark monster and one light monster, I can special summon my Chaos Emperor Dragon. My dragon has 3,000 attack points and 2,500 defense points, just like a blue-eyes white dragon, but also packs a devastating effect. By giving up 1,000 life points, my dragon lets me send all cards on our field and in our hands to the graveyard and inflicts 300 points of damage to your life points for each card sent to the graveyard. I activate my dragon's effect. You'll never survive the aftermath of my Chaos Emperor Dragon's effect. You're finished, Yugi. I wouldn't be so sure. I discard Clear Karibo from my hand to negate the activation of your Chaos Emperor Dragon's effect. Clear Karibo negates the activation of any effect that would inflict damage to my life points. It looks like my life points and my cards are perfectly safe. Even with my Dragon's effect negated, I still have three powerful monsters with which to attack. Blue-Eyes Spirit Dragon, attack and destroy Yugi's Dark Magician! I activate the effect of my Electromagnetic Turtle. By banishing it from my graveyard, I end your battle phase. I activate the effect of my Blue-Eyes Spirit Dragon. Whenever you activate the effect of a card in your graveyard, my Blue-Eyes Spirit Dragon can negate its activation. No. Your turtle is powerless against my dragon. And now your Dark Magician is a goner. I activate my trap card, the Spellbinding Circle. This card paralyzes your blue eyes spirit dragon and reduces its attack points by 700. My Dark Magician is safe by activating Spellbinding Circle during your turn. I've unleashed the effect of my Magician of Dark Illusion. Come forth, my Magician!
Whenever I activate a spell or trap card during your turn, I can special summon the Magician of Dark Illusion from my hand. While face up on my field, my Magician of Dark Illusion is one, of, and is one and the same as the Dark Magician, which means it's empowered by my Dark Magical Circle. Magician of Dark Illusion, use the power of Dark Magical Circle to banish Kaiba's Chaos Emperor Dragon from the duel. I still have one monster with which to attack, and your Dark Magician only has 1,300 attack points. Alexandrite Dragon, attack and destroy Yugi's Dark Magician! I set one card face down, and then end my turn. In my end phase, the effect of the White Stone of Ancients activates. Since it was sent to the, my graveyard this turn, I get to special summon a Blue-Eyes White Dragon from my deck. With my Blue-Eyes White Dragon joining my Blue-Eyes Spirit Dragon and Alexandrite Dragon, you don't stand a chance. It's your move. I draw. First, I activate my spell card. Thousand Knives. My magician hurls a thousand knives at your spirit dragon, destroying it. Sorry, Yugi, but I chain my blue eye spirit dragon's effect. I tribute my blue eye spirit dragon to special summon a new synchro monster. Asia Eyes Silver Dragon in its place. It looks like your magician missed the mark. When my Asia Eyes Silver Dragon is special summoned, it affects, it affects, activates. Now, the dragons I currently control can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects until the end of the next turn. Impressive, Kaiba. But my turn is far from over. Since I activated the spell card while my Magician of Dark Illusion is face up on my field, I now get to special summon Dark Magician from my graveyard. Return, my ultimate wizard. Now, the power of my Dark Magical Circle activates. Banishing your mausoleum of white from the duel. Now it's time to show you the new summoning technique I've mastered. You've mastered a new summoning technique? Behold, as ancient powers enter a new era, I build the Overlay Network. I combine my level 7 Dark Magician with my level 7 Magician of Dark Illusion to XC summon Ebon High Magician in defense mode. No way! You thought your synchro summoning technique would give you the advantage in this duel, Kaiba. But a mastery of my own new summoning strategy is about to give you more than you bargained for. Ah. And just because I've learned some advanced summoning techniques doesn't mean I can't summon old favorites just like you. I banish Magician's Rod and Clear Karibo from my graveyard to invoke an ancient chaos summoning technique as the forces of light and darkness are a new soldier. Come forth, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning! My Black Luster Soldier has 3,000 attack points and 2,500 defense points, plus an incredible effect. My soldier has the ability to banish one monster and attack twice each turn. Thanks to my Azure Eyes Silver Dragon's effect, my monsters are safe from your banishing effect. But they will not be spared from its attack. Black Luster Soldier, attack and destroy Kaiba's Alexandrite Dragon. I activate Negate Attack. Your attack is negated, and your battle phase immediately ends. I chain my trap card, Seven Tools of the Bandit. I give up 1,000 life points, and my seven tools disarms and destroys your negate attack trap card. Blackluster soldier, continue your attack! Your Alexandrite dragon is destroyed, and you're down to just 1,400 life points. Now, Blackluster soldier, attack and destroy Kaiba's blue eyes. Both of our monsters have the same number of attack points, which means both of them are destroyed. I set one card face down before ending my turn. Normally, a monster summoned by blue Eye Spirit Dragon would be destroyed in the end phase of a turn in which it's summoned. But my Azure Eyes Silver Dragon's effect stops that from happening, which means my Azure Eyes is here to stay. It's my move. I draw a card and then activate the effect of my Azure Eyes Silver Dragon. During my standby phase, my Asia Eyes Silver Dragon's effect lets me special summon a Blue Eyes White Dragon from my graveyard. Return, 
Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, I activate Card of Demise. This card lets me draw until I have five cards in my hand. As long as I discard my hand in five turns. But I can promise you this duel won't last that long, Yugi. I will defeat you long before then. We'll see about that. Next, I activate a wing beat of giant dragon. By returning my blue eyes white dragon to my hand, I destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. Now you're defenseless, Yugi. That's not true. I still have my Heaven High Magician. We'll see what good that does you. I activate Trade In. This card lets me discard a level 8 monster to draw two cards. I discard a Blue Eyes White Dragon to draw two cards from my deck. And the card drawing doesn't stop there, Yugi. I activate Pot of Desires. Now. I banish the top 10 cards of my deck face down to draw two cards. Next, I activate Silver's Cry. This card lets me special summon my Blue Eyes White Dragon back from the graveyard. Welcome back, Blue Eyes. Now, I activate Swing of Memories. This card lets me special summon another Blue Eyes White Dragon from my graveyard. Two Blue Eyes White Dragons? Unlike my Blue Eyes White Dragon summoned by Silver Silver's Cry at the end of my turn, this Blue Eyes White Dragon will become just a memory as it returns to the graveyard from which it came. But one turn with my Blue Eyes White Dragon is all I need, Yugi, because I'm planning to wipe you out with an onslaught of monsters right now. I summon Luster Dragon! My Luster Dragon has 1,900 attack points. Finally, I switch my Azure Eyes Silver Dragon into attack mode. You're finished, Yugi. I'll use the Blue Eyes White Dragon that I summoned back to the field with Swing of Memories to attack and destroy your Evan High Magician. I activate my Evan High Magician's special ability. Special ability? That's right, Kaiba. After you destroyed my back row with a winged feet of giant dragon, you thought I was left unable to activate any spell or trap cards, but you were wrong. When I summoned my Evan High Magician, the two monsters I used to summon it became Xyz materials attached to my magician. Now, my Evan High Magician's special ability lets me detach one of those Xyz materials from it to activate a spell or trap card from my hand during your turn. I detach an Xyz material from my Evan High Magician to activate Magic Cylinder from my hand. Magic Cylinder? This card reflects your blue eyes white dragon's attack right back at you. You lose 3,000 life points. And since you only have 1,400 life points left, this duel is over. I won't go down that easily. I chain my spell card, Enemy Controller. I tribute my attacking blue eyes white dragon to unlock my enemy controller's hidden mode. Not only does this prevent the backfire of my dragon's attack, but it also lets me take control of your Evan High Magician. Hand it over, Yugi. Not so fast, Kaiba. I activate my Evan High Magician's special ability once again by detaching its second Xyz material. I activate Dark Illusion from my hand. My Dark Illusion negates the activation of your enemy controller and destroys it. My Evan High Magician is staying right where it is. Well played, Yugi. Well played. But your Evan High Magician has no Ixies material left. That means you're cut off from any more spell or trap cards this turn. Blue Eyes White Dragon, attack and destroy Yugi's Evan High Magician. Since you've destroyed my Evan High Magician, I get to activate its effect. When it's sent to the graveyard, I get to special summon a dark spellcaster from my deck in attack position. I special summon Dark Magician Girl. My Dark Magician Girl gains 300 attack points for each Dark Magician in my graveyard, giving it a total of 2,300 attack points. Then, thanks to my Ebon High Magician's effect, my special summon magician strikes down one monster on your field. Since your Azure Eye Silver Dragon's effect prevents me from destroying it, and your Luster Dragon is your only other monster that hasn't yet attacked, I'll strike down your Luster Dragon. Azure Eye Silver Dragon, attack and destroy Yugi's Dark Magician Girl! You lose 200 life points, and your Dark Magician Girl is destroyed. I set two cards face down and end 
my turn. It's my turn now. I draw. I activate Card of Sanctity. Now, we each draw from our decks until we have six cards in our hand. Thanks for the cards, Yugi. I've drawn Palladium Oracle Mahar. When I draw this card, I can special summon it to the field. Mahar is a trustworthy and ancient protector of my deck. He is a powerful ally, and I am proud to have him by my side. Next, I activate Pot of Green. Now, I draw two cards from my deck. But that's not all of the card drawing I'll be doing. I activate Pot of Desires. Just like you did on your previous turn, I banished the top ten cards of my deck face down to draw an additional two cards. Yeah, are you just going to draw cards, or are you going to actually play them? If you insist, Kyra, I activate Magic Formula. My Magic Formula increases the attack points of any spellcaster on my field by 700. I equip it to Mahad to increase its attack points to 3200. Finally, I activate this spell card, Diffusion Wave Motion. I give up 1000 life points to allow Mahad to attack all of your monsters. Palladium Oracle Mahad, channel your power and attack Kaiba's Blue Eyes White Dragon! Now Mahad, attack Kaiba's Azure Eyes Silver Dragon! Your field is I set four cards face down and then end my turn. It's your move. My field may be empty, but thanks to your card of sanctity, my hand is full. I draw! I activate the effect of the White Stone of Ancients by banishing it from my graveyard. I add a Blue-Eyes White Dragon from my graveyard to my hand. Now, I reveal a Blue-Eyes White Dragon from my hand to special summon Blue-Eyes Alternative White Dragon to my field! Blue-Eyes Alternative White Dragon? That's right, Yuki. I can special summon my Blue-Eyes Alternative White Dragon simply by revealing a Blue-Eyes White Dragon from my hand. My Blue-Eyes Alternative White Dragon is just like my Blue-Eyes White Dragon, but with an added effect. Once per turn, my Alternative White Dragon can destroy any monster on your field. I activate its effect to destroy your Mahad. Oh, no, but that's okay. When Palladium Oracle Mahad leaves the field, it leaves behind a Dark Magician to protect me. Come forth, Dark Magician! Plus, when Magic Formula is sent to the graveyard, I gain 1,000 life points. Your Dark Magician doesn't stand a chance. I activate Return of the Dragon Lords! This card lets me return a level 7 or 8 dragon from my graveyard to the field. Return to me, Blue Eyes White Dragon! You're finished, Yugi. I activate Polymerization! I fuse the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon on my field with the Blue Eyes White Dragon on my field and the Blue Eyes White Dragon in my hand. Come forth, Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon! 4,500 attack points! Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, attack Yugi's Dark Magician! If you want to attack my magician, you'll have to find him first. I reveal my trap card, Magical Hats! Magical Hats materialize! My Dark Magician is hiding under one of these four hats. Good luck finding him. Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, attack the rightmost hat! It was like this. Unfortunately for you, I get to try again. I activate my ultimate dragon special ability by sending a blue eyes fusion monster from my extra deck to my graveyard. I get to attack again. I send my blue eyes twist burst dragon to my graveyard and attack the middle hat. My Neo blue eyes ultimate dragon still has one attack left. I send my blue eyes ultimate dragon to my graveyard to strike once more. Attack. The hat to the left! Strike three. Now that my Dark Magician's location is no longer concealed, I dispel my magical hats. Even though all three of my attacks failed, I still intend to win this duel with my Neo Ultimate Dragon. I reveal my face down card. Ring of Destruction! My Ring of Destruction destroys my dragon and inflicts 4,500 points of damage to both of our life points. You would sacrifice your dragon and the rest of your life points? <laughs> my dragon, yes, but my life points, 
I didn't come here for a tie, Yugi. I came here to win. I activate Ring of Defense. This card shields my life points from the explosive impact of my Ring of Destruction. Now only you lose 4,500 life points. This duel is over. You're right about one thing, Kai. This duel is over. But you're not the one who will be evading the damage from your Ring of Destruction. I, I reveal my trap card, Mystical Ref Panel. My Mystical Ref Panel displaces your protective ring, shifting it from your side of the field to mine. Your ultimate dragon is vanquished by your Ring of Destruction, and your life points are reduced to zero, while mine is safe. <laughs> I thought you might try something like that, Yugi, which is why I held on to this. I activate Diffusion! I split my monsters back into the three dragons I used to summon it. My life points are safe. Plus, since there are four monsters on the field, my life points are about to get a big boost. I activate my trap card, Gift of the Mystical Elf. This card increases my life points by 300 for each monster on the field. Since there are four monsters on the field, I gain a grand total of 1,200 life points. Since I'm still in my battle phase, I still have three more attacks that I can use to finish you off. Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, attack and destroy Yugi's Dark Magician. I activate my face down card, Mirror Force. This card reflects your monster's attack back at you, destroying all of your Blue Eyes White Dragons. Not so fast, Yugi. I activate the effect of Return of the Dragon Lords. By banishing it from my graveyard, I protect all of my dragons that are threatened by any one of your card effects. Your mirror force is nullified. My monster's attack continues, which means your dark magician is destroyed and you lose 500 life points. My dark magician. Now. It's my next Blue Eyes turn to attack. Blue Eyes White Dragon, attack Yugi directly and end this duel. I activate my last face down card, Nutrient Z. This card gives me 4,000 life points right before your dragon strikes. I'm still in this duel. For the moment. But I still have one more blue eyes with which to attack. And since you have no more cards to activate on your field, and only 2,600 life points left, this attack will finish you off. Blue eyes, white dragon! Attack Yugi directly and end this duel! I may not have any cards to activate on my field, but that doesn't mean I'm out of this duel quite yet. I discard Karibo from my hand to prevent all damage that would be inflicted by your blue eyes, white dragon. Your Karibo may keep you in the duel for one more turn, but it's only prolonging my inevitable victory. I enter main phase two and activate Dragon's Mirror. This card lets me banish the three Blue Eyes monsters on my field to fusion summon my Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon back from my extra deck. I set one card face down before ending my turn. It's your move, Yugi, but with 4,500 attack points on my field. <laughs> this duel is as good as over. I draw. I activate my spell card. Monster Recovery! This card lets me return to my deck all of the cards in my hand and on my field and draw a brand new hand of five cards. That's five more cards for me to use to defeat you, Kaiba. It looks like I've drawn Waterfall. When this card is added to my hand, I can special summon it to the field. Next, I activate Premature Barrier by paying 800 life points. I special summon Magician of Dark Illusion back to my field. Now, I activate my Upstart Goblin. This spell card gives you 1,000 life points and lets me draw one card from my deck. But more importantly, since I activated while my Dark Magician of Illusion is on the field, I get to activate my Magician's Effect to special summon Dark Magician from my graveyard. Return to my field, Dark Magician! So you've managed to summon three puny monsters. None of them are nearly as strong as my Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. True, but my turn isn't finished. I tribute Waterpawn, Magician of Dark Illusion, and Dark Magician to summon the almighty 
Slifer, the Sky Dragon! Your monster pales in comparison to my Egyptian god! Ah, oh, no way! You've summoned an Egyptian god card? That's right. I've summoned Slifer the Sky Dragon. Even while you control Slifer the Sky Dragon, I control the strongest monster on the field. Slifer the Sky Dragon only gets 1,000 attack points for each card in your hand, which means it only has 2,000 attack points. My ultimate dragon's 4,500 attack points are far higher. My dragon will wipe out Slifer on my next turn. Your ultimate dragon's attack points may be higher for now, but they won't be for long. I activate double spell by discarding Makiu, the magical mist from my hand. I get to activate a spell card in your graveyard, and I choose your card of demise. Oh, no! Now I draw until I have five cards in my hand. Consequently, Slifer's attack points shoot up to 5,000. Slifer the Sky Dragon, use your Thunder Force attack to destroy Kaiba's ultimate dragon! Your dragon is destroyed, and you lose 500 life points. I set one card face down, and Slifer's attack points drop to 4,000. It's over, Kaiba. Nothing in your deck can defeat my Egyptian god card. Okay, okay. I draw. Perfect. Perhaps nothing in my deck can defeat Slifer the Sky Dragon, but there still might be a card left in your deck that can. I activate my spell card, Lullaby of Obedience. Oh, no! By giving up 1,000 life points, my Lullaby of Obedience lets me choose any monster in your deck and add it to my hand. So tell me, Yugi, um, is Hobbles the Tormentor still in your deck? It is. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, then hand it over. You may have taken my Egyptian god card, but with no monsters on your field, you still can't summon it. <laughs> my face down card will change that, Yugi. I activate Return from the Different Dimension! Now. I give up half of my life points to special summon five of my banished monsters back to the field. I special summon Chaos Emperor Dragon, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, and all three of my Blue Eyes White Dragons. My Slifer's Lightning Blast effect activates, eliminating 2,000 attack points from each of your five monsters. All their attack points are reduced to just 1,000. <laughs> That's all I need because they're about to be tributed for something greater. I tribute all three of my Blue Eyes White Dragons. Come forth, Obelisk the Tormentor! Slifer the Sky Dragon's effect kicks in, and your Obelisk loses 2,000 attack points until the end of the turn. My Obelisk, the Tormentor, may be weaker than Slifer for now, but it will show you no mercy. I activate Obelisk the Tormentor's effect. I offer my Chaos Emperor Dragon and Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon as tributes to Obelisk. Now my Obelisk's attack points rise to infinity, and it attacks everything you control with its fist of fury. Your Slifer the Sky Dragon is no match for Obelisk, and your life points will not withstand its attack. It's over, Yugi! It's not over yet. I activate my trap card, Zero Gravity! This card changes the battle position of all monsters on the field. It's naive of you to think that a change in gravity will interfere with the infinite powers of my obelisk. Yeah. My obelisk's attack continues unimpeded. Perhaps, but a slight change in gravitational force is just what my Slifer the Sky Dragon needed to switch into defense mode. Now that my Slifer is in defense mode, it will guard my life points from your obelisk's attack. Even so, your Slifer is destroyed and obelisk remains on my field. I end my turn and obelisk's attack points return to 4,000. You're defenseless against my Egyptian god card, you Without a god card to defend you, my obelisk will wipe out what's left of your life points on my next turn. I am about to prove to everyone once and for all that I am the stronger duelist. He has a point. I have nothing left on my field, and none of the cards in my hand can beat an Egyptian god card. We can still win at this, Pharaoh. It may not be easy, but if we take a chance and believe in the heart of the cards, I'm sure we can win this. You're right, Yuki. We must never give up. Heart of the cards, guide me. I draw. 
I activate my spell card, the true name. The true name? What in the world is that? This card lets me predict the name of the card on the top of my deck. If I'm wrong, the top card of my deck is sent to the graveyard, and with nothing left to defend me against your ovens, I will lose this duel. But if I'm right about which card is at the top of my deck, the named card is added to my hand, and I get to add a divine monster from my deck to my hand. Divine monster? That means the card I name is Monster Reborn! You're going to gamble the outcome of this duel on one single guess? I reveal the top card of my deck, Monster Reborn! No way! I add Monster Reborn to my hand and now search my deck for the Winged Dragon of Ra! Even though you have the Winged Dragon of Ra in your hand, you still have no monsters on your field that you contribute to summon it! That's about to change, Kyla. I activate Monster Reborn to resurrect my Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning! Next, I activate Dark Magic Veil! By giving up 1,000 life points, this spell card lets me special summon a Dark Spellcaster from my hand or graveyard. I sacrifice 1,000 life points to special summon the Dark Magician of Chaos from my hand. Now, my Dark Magician of Chaos effect activates, allowing me to return a spell card from my graveyard to my hand. I return Monster Reborn, but it won't stay in my hand for long. I activate Monster Reborn to bring back my Dark Magician. No way! Way! You managed to summon three monsters to the field! That's right, Kaiba. Now prepare to face the ultimate Egyptian god. I tribute my Black Luster Soldier, Dark Magician of Chaos, and Dark Magician. Almighty Protector of Sun and Sky, I do. Please heed my cry. Transform thyself from Orb of Light and bring me victory in this fight. I beseech thee, grace our humble game. But first, I shall call out thy name, Winged Dragon of Ra! Now, the Winged Dragon of Ra emerges with attack points and defense points equal to the combined power of my tributed monsters. With the strength of my tributed Black Luster Soldier, Dark Magician of Chaos, and Dark Magician, the Winged Dragon of Ra has 8,300 attack points. 8,300! And the Winged Dragon of Ra's power doesn't stop there. Next, I'll give all but one of my life points to increase the Winged Dragon of Ra's attack points by the number of life points I sacrifice. It's over, Kaiba. Your obelisk's 4,000 attack points pale in comparison to the Winged Dragon of Ra's 9,099 attack points. This can't be happening! It is. The Winged Dragon of Ra, attack Obelisk the Tormentor, and end this duel! No! That was a great duel, Kaiba. I really enjoyed it. After all this time, I finally got a rematch. A second chance to prove that I'm the best, and I lost. I, I can't believe it.